everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome back to another episode of Power Wash Simulator. I was going to call it Power Wash Services because that stupid van has Power Wash Services on it. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, welcome back to Power Wash Services. Welcome back. Oh, this uh, is the van that you clean in uh, in the first part of the campaign. Wow, the story of mine yeah, in this yeah. is just so good. <laughs> what a what a cohesive I, story. They put effort into it. They really they really did. Like this game, is great. It's oh, great. Okay. It's a genuinely good game. Cat paws. Cat paws. Oh yeah, I saw the cat, cat paws. paws in the uh, on top of the playground playset too. I didn't say anything because I was busy talking about Garfield uh, gods or something. <laughs> I think at the time I don't remember. But you might notice an odd, weird, creepy sign on the outside of the house. It's nothing to worry about. Smile. What this? <laughs> Is that what they're talking about? Yeah. Huh. Uh, oh, there we go. Are you decursing the house? <laughs> sure. No! <laughs> Stop, Stop to Rebo. Rebo! Okay, Alexa. <laughs> oh, that's what he's, he's... Alexa's been calling me Remo. <laughs> he's been calling you Remo now? He has. Oh, this... Oh, no, okay, it is dirty. There we go. All right, we'll back oh, this, at it again. This is gonna take longer. Will it? I wonder. Wait, do we have to clean I, inside? No, 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 no. I I don't think there's they've done interiors yet. No, it's just some of the uh, some of the grime is not coming off on a first pass with the, uh, oh. the yellow sprayer, and so it's like my my tool it is impotent. Can't yeah. handle it. Well, I have six hundred bucks. I guess I could buy us something now. There's, there's... Uh, see if we can get the next sprayer. Like. Literally nothing else matters compared to more sprayer. The medium duty? Yeah. It's 900 it's bucks. Ouch. Can I insert my credit card? Can I just, can I buy? Can I get a gotcha pull? Can I get a five star, uh, <laughs> a five star power washer? Oh boy. With cat girl ears? I... <laughs> <laughs> But. I've just been contemplating. I mean, speaking of my tr microtransactions, I've just been contemplating, like, what is the absolute fullest extent that I would, like, be willing to support a company's uh, attempts to over-monetize a game? Mm. Not very far. I have yet to do a gotcha pull in a paid game, really. I guess I did for Overwatch skins once, and I was just like, wow, this was not worth it. Yeah, when I was playing that, I don't think I spent a single, single dime on it. Uh, now I really wouldn't, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a lot less likely to to pay extra money if I already paid money once, like for the just the whole game itself. What would you buy? Skyrim horse armor, no. or no, Oblivion horse armor? That's what it was. I'm gonna make people mad today. I don't really like Skyrim that much. I, yeah. I found Skyrim kind of boring. I really like Morrowind. I I had more fun. I was I, I had a much easier time getting into Oblivion than I haven't played Morrowind still. But it it's it's a it's a take I like to say because it gets people mad quick. But then it's it loses its heat once I say that I find I have a hard time getting into open world games in general. You're I too big. Gen, usually, usually, I did really like um, I liked Breath of the Wild. It's probably my favorite open world game. But well, it's because you don't need to do like almost any of it. Yeah, but I I I've tried very like a lot of times to get into Skyrim. I've tried a lot of times, and yet I had an easy time getting into MMOs, which effectively are like super open worlds. Kind I don't of. Know. MMOs tend to be a little bit more like guided, whereas like Skyrim, you'll just be walking along and you can go into a, just a random dungeon, and there's actually a reason for you to go in there, and then maybe go back. But. Yeah, S Skyrim felt like, you know, when you sit down on the on the couch and you're trying to pick what you want to watch from Netflix or you're not even sure, you haven't even landed if it's from Netflix that you're going to watch or if it's going to be Hulu or whatever the heck. It's yeah. It feels like that, t to me, when I sit down and play Skyrim, it's that personified. 
into like an actual game. Hmm. I mean, Cause, I guess it makes sense. But I, I like I, I want to I want to play it and I want to like it. I have Skyrim VR and I have it for a, a rainy day. I would love to do a video oh, on it of me Skyrim trying to get into VR it. Skyrim VR is a different beast. Yeah, I, you can still mod it. Oh no. Uh, so I. Gosh, I have a I have a short of this, but it bugged out, you know, as Bethesda games are wont to do uh, when I was playing it. But it, it bugged out so bad that that when they were doing the like the intro cutscene, uh, where you're like, I I don't know how much I I will avoid spoiling it, even though you probably have seen it before. But your character is effectively immobile for a little while. Yeah, and for some reason my head had like come untethered from my body. That happened to me when I played. Oh, it did? Wait, but you... Wait, this happened to you in VR? In VR. Oh, no. Yeah, so my head was just bouncing all over the screen uh, as, you know, Thomas the Tank Dragon has, has landed and is roaring and, you know, all that impressive stuff, but my head is just flying all over the place, and it's very confusing. And I could yeah. also see my nose through my <laughs> nose, and it was bad. It was, yeah. do not play an Argodian if you play VR, because it, it, the bigger your face, the more likely it is to clip through the camera and get oh my God. hard to see. Yeah. It I, is a special beast. It's, they also don't have uh, attack physics, so attacking, uh, when you're swinging the sword, it just counts as, like, did your sword touch enemy? Yes? Okay, cool. Yeah. Then, you, then you have attacked them. So the best way to fight is by swirling it, your sword it, yes. inside them, and they just die. <laughs> yes, that's what I remember. I because I've played I've played a little bit of the Skyrim VR. I played I've okay to make it clear. I have tried to play Sky, like I've started Skyrim from the beginning maybe eight times. To yeah, because I don't I don't want to be the guy who doesn't like Skyrim. I and it's not that I don't like it. I just I, I have a hard time getting into it. Like, I like the I like the promise of and theory of Skyrim more than I like Skyrim. If they released, like, a condensed version of it, I think I'd like it so much more. You know, give me the open world, but also give me just, like, the short version. Yeah. Well, I... Not spend 20 minutes crossing the world or, on foot. Or if traversal is really fun. that That's the other thing. I like Breath of the, uh, Breath of the Wild. I like uh, the new Spider-Man. Because traversal is fun. Yeah. Traversal is fun. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense for the world to be big because you want it to be big because moving's fun. Make it too small, then it's not fun to move around. Yeah. I guess. Like, so I, I really like it in that. Um, but I don't know. I've been playing uh, Solar Ash, the Hyper Light mm. Drifter kind of follow up. Yeah. That is really fun traversal. But the world is small, and I don't think I mind too much. Yeah. I, that's the thing is like, fun traversal, does, I don't think it means you have to have a big world, but it's like, if you have a big world, traversal needs to be fun. I think it's, I think it's like in that True. direction. If the world is big, traversal needs to be fun. If you have fun traversal, the world doesn't have to be big. But I think it I think it can lend itself to it for sure. True. But I don't know, like was it the infamous games? Those had those were, wait, oh, because that was also um, what, Insomniac, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Same as Spider Man, yeah? Pretty sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Insomniac did Ratchet and Clank. In, uh, infamous and Spider-Man and other stuff. Yeah. Did they also do the Resistance games? I want to say, or maybe? no? I don't know. That maybe. that I don't I know. Think they did. Maybe okay. So maybe I like in, Insomniac open world games because because moving's fun. Because I liked Infamous and I think that's an open world game. It's been 12, 12 million years since I played it though. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Resistance was done by Insomniac. I okay. never played those. I, Me either. I didn't even like get into Insomniac until I had a PS4, and then I was like, "Oh yeah, these these guys are real good. They make moving fun." Yeah. If only somebody could do that to real life. I want movement. I, to be, I yeah. want movement to be fun. It can. It can biking's fun. Yeah, biking. But, biking oh, can be fun as long as you're not in an urban environment or going down a mountain really fast. Yeah. Or maybe going down a mountain real fast is fun. I just... But yeah, I think it is. I was it, going down barely a hill, flipped over my handlebars, and uh, destroyed my face as a teenager. 
and then also did that a couple years later and destroyed destroyed my wrist permanently. So I've just been always very scared of bicycles on hills. Yeah, understandable. Would have been fun if it was a video game because it wouldn't have hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh. And you would just retry. But uh, yeah, no, not for real life. Can Insomniac make some DLC for real life, please? Thanks. That would be nice. If if one developer could make real life DLC, <laughs> who would you pick? Ooh. IRL DLC from, from any any developer. Now I'm thinking. It's a very it's a very broad question. I mean, I'm gonna I'm just gonna take the cheap way out and say Insomniac, because then I don't have. To yeah, think. I feel like they could do it. I mean, I they they could do it well. I'm sure. That's a question for the old comments. I should. Yeah. I now now I'm thinking of like a horror movie or a game or whatever. Oh, I never saw the movie. Was it Stranger Than Fic Fiction with uh, Will Ferrell, where yeah. it was like the author was writing his life and yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like she was gonna kill him. Yeah. I feel like there's two ways this could go. It could be. Uh, you know, it could be Insomniac where it's effectively perfect, or it could be like Bethesda and it ruins <laughs> the world. Oh my god, yeah, I uh, I could see that. Just everybody, everybody starts like standing sideways when they're on the stairs, <laughs> can't even help it, might not even realize something is wrong, yeah. <laughs> your perspective becomes detached from your body. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your head, yeah, your head just comes off or like stretches out like uh like Mr. Fantastic. And you go, "Need something?" I <laughs> Unironically, <laughs> stretch powers would actually be kind of cool. A yeah. Weird. What would you use but them like... for? What it cuz in my head I'm like, "Yeah, I mean... that sounds cool," but I'm like, "What but why?" Why does it sound I cool? just feel like you could have the ultimate lounge if you were stretchy. That's true. Like, you just lay out on a couch. Nothing can stop you. Um, slow fall? Okay. Yeah, just, just sure. become Parachute Man. How often um, in your daily life do you think you need sl to slow fall? <laughs> I... Not often, but if I had the capability of slow fall, then I would do it way more often. It's true. You know, it's like double jumping. If you if you in real life could double jump normally, <laughs> why ever do stairs? Just crawl out window, double jump to upper window, crawl in window. Yeah. If I could, I guess that's true. If I could double jump, I would just like, I would go to the supermarket and I would just double jump. I would just double jump. Just cause. Yeah, just over, over one of the... Uh, you know, over the display, you know, yeah. next dial over. Who cares? Yeah, you don't have to go around that weirdo with the, the two carts that's blocking the lane. It's you don't true. have to wait for them. You just and, double jump over. And when they say, sir, get down from groceries there. groceries from your basket on unfortunate people below. Yeah. He goes, sir, get down from there. What are you doing up there? And I'll say, I'm looking for collectibles. <laughs> I, I, when I was a kid, I was at a supermarket in New Mexico and accidentally threw like a, a, a fake silver sheriff's badge. You know, I was probably just playing with it and I just tossed it and it landed on top of one of those shelves and I was heartbroken. Oh, I was no. trying to convince my dad to climb up the shelves to get it for me. Yeah, it's still there. Uh, it might be. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It, could it be. might be. This was 26 years ago, so hopefully not just for everybody's sake. But it could be. Could be. Let's see here. I forgot about the cleaning liquids this whole time. I have yeah, a why bother. I bought one. Oh. Out of stone cleaner. I'll see how good it is. We'll, we'll see. If, we'll see why bother. Is it a consumable? Oh, or... oh it's kind of busted. I mean, it's kind of cracked. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's, wait, it's pretty good. Yeah. Here. I, I, don't, I might have to buy you one. I'll buy you a wood cleaner. Don't spend it all in one place. I don't even... uh, oops. Yeah. I don't even know if I can attach a uh, cleaner. Can you? T you have to attach a nozzle, the the uh, Prime Vista soap nozzle first. 
or is it yeah. like only one of us can have it on maybe i think only one of us can have it it might not update what i can do here I, i've taken either. it off i want to see i wonder if you can put it on now like if you if you use maybe your scroll wheel and you go all the way up if you scroll all the way up to the big chunky thing so don't i don't have, have the big chunky thing that doesn't show oh. up no what yeah You're... so i i think i am uh sufficiently hamstrung here oh no it's fine so is the cleaner like a consumable uh yeah the 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 cleaning liquid is a consumable yeah yeah it's that's not, why i don't touch it it's honestly like not that much faster it's nice but i don't know i feel like cleaning is quickly nice. is only like i don't know i don't really care i guess because <laughs> it's like i first of all it's also just doing a really pretty darn good job in a lot of areas but it's not perfectly getting everything off so i kind of have to go over it again anyways so maybe it sucks <laughs> i just i can't i can't do collect uh i can't do consumables in games like if i have an infinite supply of them yes if it's like a rare candy probably but if it's like an elixir or like a hyper max potion that you have to spend like all of your life savings in game on no i just i just yeah. don't hold that until i beat the game unless i absolutely need it on the last boss at which point boy i'm glad i saved those yeah it's it's true the wood cleaner is um like the the ether of uh <laughs> of, yeah. of power wash sim I, i've been playing many final fantasies and you I, I can tell you my stress level is directly proportional to the availability of ethers. Yeah. When playing those games. Uh, I think I'm on four and ethers are like all of my money if I want to buy one and they barely give me any mana back and I'm like, well, yeah. I guess I'm just going without magic on this uh, on this game. I'll be fine, maybe. Yeah. I always prefer I think, uh, I'm sorry, a mana system that's more active than that. You go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to say, I think Final Fantasy 1 and 2 had ethers that were cheap as candy. So I just was popping them left and right and just did not care. And it was lovely. Because I yeah. felt like it could do magic endlessly. Yeah. I always, I always like when a game let, makes it so you feel like you can use that stuff. But the thing is, it's so rare because I always just assume I can't. <laughs> Like yeah. with uh, I just as, I just assume that it's gonna be special because I played so many games that have scarred me into thinking that. Is this a useful item? You only get ten of them the whole game. Yeah. When are you going to use them against a random fight? No, you're gonna save them for the boss fight and then forget to use them because you're so used to not using them. Yep, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. I uh, I guess I've been playing a lot of Ruined King. Admittedly, I'm so busted that I don't need it, but they just keep dumping consumables on me, and I'm just like, well, these are just going to sit in my bag forever. Yeah, that was the sure, first thing that came to my mana, mind. But it's That was the first I, game that came to my mind. You get so many in that. So many things. Yep. And yet I'm wearing the ring from like 10 levels ago that gives me two mana per round, and <laughs> I'll just staunchly use that instead because sustainability. Yeah. Yep, that's the thing. I, I would rather have sustain than have to... Like, I, I build everything in a way where I won't have to use those kind of... Co those kinds of items. So that I can, yeah, save them for later when I'll never use them? Yeah. yeah. Always, it's always how yeah. it goes. I will definitely, definitely use them. So what are your go-to nozzles in this? Because I usually just <laughs> default to yellow. I, I do the yellow or the... Uh, or the the base one the the like the very con concentrated one only those two pretty much okay the red one or the uh, I think. is there a red it's a red it's or like orange, orange red. though oh yeah 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 maybe i'm colorblind uh i thought i was colorblind for like a while because i tricked myself into it <laughs> i want to april fools on yourself kid. Well, I wanted glasses when I was a kid because my brother had glasses and like I was the older child and so I always did everything first. And so when he got glasses before me, I was like, I could not handle it 
very well. And not like in a jealous way, but it was just like, glasses are cool and I want them too. Because, I mean, glasses can be cool. Yeah. But, uh, so we went to the eye doctor and I was like purposefully failing um, the color blindness test thinking it would get me glasses. Oh, because I was a dumb child. I and see. And they're like, yeah, your kid's probably colorblind. And my mom's like, oh, I mean, I, my uncle's colorblind. So, okay, maybe. And so I just like said, yeah, sure, I'm probably colorblind. Yeah. Not putting two and two together because, once again, dumb child. Yeah. Uh, and then after a while, especially once I started doing art seriously, I'm like, I'm not actually colorblind. I can do this. But at that point, I was stuck. You're in too deep. I perpetuated it long enough. And so it's just like, well, I can't just back out on this. <laughs> I got better. Uh, <laughs> and so what? eventually, like, I got older and, like, was mostly trying to stop perpetuating it. Uh, but I had to admit to uh, Shell and her dad at a restaurant that it's like, no, I'm not actually colorblind. I think Shell had called me out on it because uh, she realized that, like, there's no way you're not. You, there's no way you're colorblind. But just the fact that a, a lie from when I was 10 lasted for, like, over a decade because I was too afraid yeah. of admitting to other people. You're in too deep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Never tell the mob anything. <laughs> you're, exactly. you're, you'll be screwed. Uh, oh my. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's the thing. It's like I I always wanted to be colorblind or something too. Like I, I don't know what that is. Like I wanted well, to, I wanted to special, have that. Kind of. I wanted to have that. I never I never claimed I I was, but I certainly in the back of my mind, I I would have. Uh, I would have understood where you were coming from at the very least when I was when I was a child. Oh, boy, this porch. Is this whole thing technically? Oh. Uh, this whole thing is one big objective. Gotcha. Holy moly. Anyway, I, I think, think you're cool even though you're not cool. Saying holy moly is a result uh, as a result of just picking it up from you. It I just realized that now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so too. I heard every once in a while I'll uh, I'll I I only start to realize what I say when I hear you start saying it. Because <laughs> I, I am a really bad chameleon when it comes to language. So if uh, if I'm around people that swear relentlessly, I will start swearing relentlessly just because it's like cooked into my brain yeah uh, it's bad i like can't watch other people record most of the time because i just will pick up their mannerisms I it's so easy don't to do. know why i don't know it's, it's easy to do were, were you the yeah. kind of like growing up were you the kind of kid who like when people would say something on tv you would just say it back or something i know rhapsody said uh, he did that he did that a lot i think so like, I, I don't think I did. I didn't watch too much television because uh, I get secondhand embarrassment really bad. Mm. And so, like, my first forays into television was watching Pokemon. And ah. uh, let me tell you, secondhand embarrassment from Ash Ketchum just being Ash Ketchum is... Yeah. Gives me physical pain. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a doof, that man. Oh, I, oh wait. This reminds me. I... I I'm very curious on this topic. I, what, how often would you watch a movie, the same movie as a kid, on average? How many times uh, your favorite movies, so like like ones you really enjoyed, how many times per would you watch them? So, I, couple of factors that determine this. So one, my parents would never like buy anything. So for example, we only owned. Uh, the first Lord of the Rings movie, because that was all of the Lord of the Rings that we needed. Uh, <laughs> we just watched Fellowship of the Ring a lot. Um, so I, I, I think I've only ever seen Return of the King once, but I've seen oh. Fellowship of the Ring like a gazillion times because poor Frodo the one he never makes owned. it. <laughs> he, just, he never gets there. Poor Frodo. Yeah. So. Uh, you know the whole, like, perception that uh, Sean Penn dies in, like, every movie? Yeah. Uh, my perception of that is skewed because 
pretty much the vast majority of times I've ever seen Sean Penn has been him dying horribly. <laughs> uh, admittedly, like, he has a higher prevalence of it, but when you only watch Fellowship of the Ring, boy, yeah. Sean Penn does die a lot. Yeah, um, he dies in every movie, when it's the only movie you and watch. So, uh, so we didn't really own a lot of movies, which sure. kind of made re-watching the same one over and over again. Uh, so, like, willingly, if I were to choose to, like, rewatch anything, I almost never would. But there was, like, one day where we had, I think McDonald's was doing some kind of, like, promotion thing where you could get a Happy Meal and it would come with, like, a an animated kind of short movie thing. Okay. Maybe only half an hour long, maybe an hour long. I don't remember. Um, but I think I watched that, like, eight times in one day. And then that was it. I did the same thing with mustard. I just ate a shit ton of mustard <laughs> the first time I ever had it. And then I've never liked the taste of it ever, ever again. Yeah. I, I, I just I can't handle it. It's like, I don't know, I can't remember where this story was. But there's like, there's some kid who is having issues with their health because they wouldn't stop eating M&Ms. Like, way too many M&Ms or something. Oof. And then the... The mom was like, "Here, and you have to. You can have as many M and M's as you want." And gave them a pillowcase full of M and M's. Like literally, it was a. It was just, just a pillowcase filled with M and M's. And they told them to eat it. And they said, "Go ahead." It's like that, but mustard. It's your yep. pillowcase full of mustard. <laughs> 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 that sounds wild. Yeah, I just wanted yeah. to, I just had the idea I wanted to say pillowcase full of mustard. But yeah, it's like that. I mean Yeah. Hundred percent. Oh boy. I've uh gosh, it it is actually really bad whenever I have mustard now. I don't even remember what it was. I think uh it ordered it was maybe it was like Chinese food or something recently, but I bit into it and it was just these very strong Dijon flavor um, and I just like had to spit it out because I just could not handle just get uh, reminded of the, the one day that one day as like a three year old behind the TV <laughs> eating a whole thing of mustard <laughs> your villain villain origin story it is like one of my first memories and I'm not going to say it's traumatic but it's left a very yeah. lasting impression oh uh, the the terrible situation that one day where you were pretending you were colorblind and there was ketchup and mustard on the table in the same bottle and you had to you just had to eat the mustard because you couldn't you couldn't prove that you knew that it was the yellow bottle that what a day that that villain origin story what would yours be oh my god i <laughs> It's tough. Oh. Oh god. I'm trying to think. What what I I've, I've, I've got like a whole, whole bunch. I don't know. I feel like uh, I can't think of any like individual moment. I just I had a just there had a lot of tough times. I had a lot of very tough times in general. I feel like my whole life is my <laughs> is my villain origin story, and I'm just <laughs> trying to building I'm slowly. just trying to repress it all so so bad, and I've been succeeding. I could I could I could harness my my powers for some true evil. I really do think, if I wanted to, if it was my desire, I could be uh, I could be a real piece of trash. <laughs> Oh boy. See, but. if I were to like pick a villainous origin story, I think I'd almost have to like manufacture it. Because I, yeah, no matter what, if thing. I were to like go evil, I just want to be Robotnik or something to that extent. Comically evil with like a giant robot empire uh, and like a ridiculous Sky Fortress and or Death Star analog. Yeah. And so, like, you probably even get to the point where it's like, here's your backstory, and then I'm. Uh, then everybody realizes that I've just been making shit up all along. And then, like, <laughs> yeah, some bad stuff happened, but whatever tragic backstory I made up, you know, U.S. government kidnapped my grandpa and oh, left him again. in a cell forever. Oh. Uh, you know, all of that's just like, no, no, he just made that up because he just really wants to have the robot empire. He just wanted to justify his Amazon purchases of uh, mech parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I would manufacture one too. I just like, I I don't know if I could. It, I would be a villain if it means I could like talk to animals. I would do that. Oh, I'll do it. I'll so is it. that the power you would go for if you had superpowers? Uh, I feel like maybe. I, yeah, I, I feel like maybe. Because it feels like one I, that you could utilize for and also hide. <laughs> like it wouldn't have yes. to impact your daily life if you didn't want it to. But it might. Like, but what if might. you walk into the house and the cat just walks by and is like, "Yeah, he's a murderer." Yeah, that's. A, <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like I might want to know <laughs> first of all. True. But, but yeah, I I feel like I, there's that tweet I saw recently that was just like, "We spend all this time talking about how cool it would be if animals could talk, but like, can we just take take a minute to appreciate how great it is that they always shut up, like, because." They would. They probably would say some. We might like animals less if they could talk. They might yeah. say some really. They might be pieces of trash, you know. I I like cats because they tend to kind of leave me alone when I yeah. want to be left alone. But like, you know, if it's a nice, cuddly cat, it's like a good time. Yeah. But I feel like I would hate cats way more if I knew what they were saying. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I would like some, if I, if cats could talk, I, they got some explaining to do. That's, that's for sure. Oh boy. What the heck? This is, like, I feel like I know what so most grimy. dogs are saying. Yeah. I love, I want, I love, I want. Let's go. I love. Oh my God. Is this, is this not, is this not real stone? Why does the stone cleaner not work very well? Are they faking it? This fake stone? It's, oh, this we need multi-purpose for that. What the heck? It's not stone. I think the green nozzle is actually good enough for this. Well, I, I've uh, I've loosened I've loosened it up for you. <laughs> I've been spraying it with the soap. No, well maybe. Yeah. Here. Oh, look at that! Look at this! Oh, look at that go! Wow. That's the all, all right. multi-purpose. I was not on Team Soap, and I'm still hesitant to agree to it. That's but. the multi-purpose soap right there in action. Aura Smith just DM'd me. Did you hear that weird rumbling noise? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've been paying any attention to the plot for this, but the people think this house is haunted. Because I think it was owned um. by like a, a spooky movie star. I see. I mean, I see all these little fancy symbols. Yeah. Well, I just, I, I killed it, but yeah. Or, you know, I this cleaned it. This one looks like a rocket ship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Space ghost. You've killed it. <laughs> Ooh. This... Game, like, the sound effects, I think, are really just what truly do it. You know? Like, the little the little yeah. ding. Yeah, whenever you get anything done, it, it definitely is that, like, perfect happy medium for obtrusive enough that you notice it, but also dopamine. Yeah. Like, if this sound effect played whenever you made like a little bit of progress on your chores oh my god i would do chores uh, i would do chores like every for fun. time you finished washing a dish ding yeah i changed ding, my mind i want ding. i want the developers of this game to make irl dlc i think everybody would want that that dlc it's just like a it would little definitely be super ding. motivating for like just getting everything done i i also want to be able to press tab to see where grime is in my house <laughs> no uh, i wouldn't i'm scared that'd be i see i'm scared but i feel like it would just be the first initial day of shock and yeah. horror followed by uh, multiple days of extreme cleaning and then i'd be good yeah. And then I'd use that power while walking around outside and then steer clear oh, no. of some people. And businesses. True. I used to work at a, a grocery store and they had me do some back end work for a little bit and then I never ever wanted to buy from that grocery store ever again because I saw what was back there. 
yeah. my mother still does, and I'm like, how can you go to this better place? And she's like, no, th this place is cheaper. And I'm like, but I know what lurks behind. Yeah, that's the thing. You you like working when you realize that all the people working at those places care as much as you probably did when you worked at places like that. Then you're like, oh yeah. Then you're like, oh man, I bet you there's a lot of cut corners. <laughs> <laughs> There's I mean, probably a lot of secret what cut really, corners. What really did it for me was finding the secret nap nest that a number of the back end workers oh. had built uh, in the food shelves that nobody had found before me. Or at least, you know, nobody apart from the people that had made the secret nap nest. Yeah. I want a secret nap nest in my house. Just because it's fun I, to say. I don't, I don't need it to be It doesn't a, need to be a secret, but I want it. No? A nap nest, yeah. I, I I know there was like a person that had been showing off pictures of their house on social media years ago where they had like a trap door going down to a uh, cozy little movie lounge with like a, like the whole thing was effectively a couch with a TV at one end. Um, and it was just like, I want that. Yeah. And then they put an armchair over the trap door and there was like no other easy way to get in or out of it from what I can tell. And it's just like, that that would be great. I'd just be down there. Yeah. A little hidey hole. Yeah, day off rolls around and I'm like, all right, I'm retreating. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye, I hibernate now. Goodbye, world. I will yeah. be down here. I might yeah. not sleep. You know, maybe I'd have a switch down there just to kind of play something. Yeah. Do you play, when you take time off, do you do you play games often? Uh, yeah, actually, um, especially currently. Uh, not a whole lot to do around here because it's constantly raining. So it's just yeah. like, well, I'm just going to play Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy XIV, and, like, Bravely Default. Square Enix has actually consumed my, like, free time. This is, yeah, this was, pub this was published by Square Enix. This has been published by Square Enix. Yeah. No, this vi this game was is Square Enix published this game, apparently. I found that Wait, out. really? I found that out today. I didn't realize that. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I actually have to look because I. What the hell? You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Clouds in it. <laughs> <laughs> this I... is this was not a classic Reno goof. This was a reality. <laughs> this is truth. Square Enix really has consumed like a good, <laughs> tremendous amount of my life. I. It's such a weird thing, you know. These uh, between Sega, Square Enix, and. I mean, it's mostly Sega and Square Enix just randomly starting to publish indie games. Not something I ever would have expected, but I think it worked out well for them. I know I Square Enix so. stopped doing the Square Enix Collective, but they still publish games here and there. Yeah. I mean, it, I I think I, I'm happy to see more, like, yeah, more triple A's, typical trip, triple A, triple A's, <laughs> reaching out to just, yeah, give a big lump sump some who I can't speak. I, I forfeit this sentence. You know what I'm saying. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Lump, lump sum to developers that yeah. need, need some extra money to finish their projects. Yeah, they give them yeah. a lump, oh, yeah. lump sum. <laughs> Sounds like something an orc would say. In a lump sum. Lump sum. Something me doing? Lump sum. Some, <laughs> something need publish? <laughs> something, something need publish? Lump sum. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I would play that game, just like orc, uh, orc investment firm. Yeah, I, I think that you have the title too. I think I honestly don't think that the title yeah, needs to don't change. Need, you don't need nuance for that. It's just orcish, or, or, orcish investment firm. Orcish investment firm. That's that's what's the game that came out today? Uh, Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. Came out today. What? Yeah. I did not. I did not see that. Yeah, it's it's um, it's what it sounds like. Space Warlord. Is back on the box because like I feel like that's just him. <laughs> Is not not yet. I. I, I will straight up just like wander into his streams, and he is harvest. He will always be harvesting a man <laughs> for organs. It uh, is, it is inevitable that that is exactly what he was doing. Yeah. Well, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Yeah. 
that's uh, not true. Yeah. And if he loves what he does, nobody, nobody around him will ever live a day in their life. <laughs> oh, this this whole driveway has been such a very satisfying process. I'm just going up and down, up and down. Oh, just perfect. Yet, I I I pressed right click and I took my hand off my my right mouse or my right mouse. <laughs> I have a dual oh, mouse yeah. setup. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my oh, god you have a drawing tablet have you ever tried doing a first person shooter with a drawing tablet no it is hell i they yeah i can imagine it in the slightest it is amazing yeah i feel like uh it's not a typical tool tool for that job i do i i do want to use like donkey kong bongos for stuff the donkey kong oh bongo. i wonder if we could do that um like, see if we can hook up a bunch of just atypical, um, like, controllers to a game and do, like, a, a PvP fight. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, and oh you... Nickelodeon Smash, but I've, I'm playing on a, uh, a drawing tablet or something. Yeah. With, like, really hacked out keyboard and mouse controls. Yeah, or, there's, like, a... No, I guess maybe Dark Souls, and you've got Donkey Konga Bongos. Yeah, and there's like a there's like a draft pool where like the seating is determined based off of your uh, the controller you have to use. Oh, <laughs> and <laughs> that sounds like a good time. Well, except for the person who has to use the DDR mat. <laughs> Instant fitness <laughs> and pain. Fit or die. <laughs> Oh my god, you can get the, the Tony ring fit sequel. Yeah. Or <laughs> you get the Tony Hawk skateboard they had for that one game where you like it was like the actual oh, oh, oh. peripheral and then it could truly be a skate or die moment. Oh no. <laughs> I love it, but oh no. <laughs> I feel like I've been far less efficient than you. I've just been dealing with this stupid veranda this entire time. Eh, I, I'm, I'm very efficient right now. Wait, do you have a ladder? Yeah. Hey, where did that come from? It was in the yard. No, oh. next to the stepping stool. Okay. That was an art you installation. Just that there's ladders. I have not. I, I did like some old World of Warcraft parkour to get underneath Stormwind in order to get the top of the uh, the back sh the, the back garage kind of area. I I one of my favorite things to do in games. Glitch yeah. myself out of it. Yeah, just ruin them. Favorite thing to do with the game, ruin I, it. I used to do that with uh Tower of Guns when that had come out. And I'd like keep finding holes in the world and then kind of observe it from the outside trying to figure out where the secrets are. And then it turned out the developer was watching my videos and using that to patch every hole, and I was. Aww, like, oh, dang it! <laughs> Not fair. Yeah, but I did learn where every secret was, so it didn't matter as much. Well, I say that, but then he like updated the game and added more that I didn't know about, and I still haven't found them. <laughs> it's one of those games where you like finish a level and it's like you found five secrets out of fifty, and I'm like, what? Yeah. I thought I was thorough. I thought I found them all. Yeah. I'm I'm a sucker for that. I I have a hard time with it because I also it leads to me like being a really really strict completionist on a game and only playing like 3 levels but like getting everything in that level. I get every yeah. possible thing in in those 3 levels but then I just stop playing cuz it's just such a tall ask. And if, I mean, I don't know. I, I I like I like checklists. That's why I like this game. This game is like checklist yeah. the video game. Finish the window. Done. Finish the veranda. Done. Yeah. Spray Rito off the rooftop. Done. No. My legs that are already Not broken. I pre broke my <laughs> ankles. <laughs> pre broke your ankles. Yeah, <laughs> I already jumped off the ladder on accident here. It's very easy to do that. It's really easy to do. The thing for me, though, is placing the ladder is always kind of weird, because sometimes it just, like, doesn't take. And I'm yeah. Just like, 
I've tried placing you. Cause there, so there's only like a, a finite amount of places it can be. Is that what it is? Like yeah, but sometimes like uh, you'll highlight over the spot and then it just won't take for whatever reason. Or at least it did when this game first came out. I, hopefully they fixed it. But I'd like carry carry the ladder from the front of the house on the yard to the back of the house and then press F and it would just be like, no, never mind. And then I have to like repeat the process once or twice. Yeah. Hello, is this the crime bandits? I need some help with my poor little play school. Uh, yes, it's me, the crime bandit. <laughs> I I think that is actively like one of the uh, one of the ongoing things that either people don't know what the power washing company is called, or that like the friend that is advertising for you keeps changing the name. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like the I like crime bandit. I feel like if we ever get back to playing with Orbital again, we should just introduce him by a different name every time. You know, yeah, he's the he's the grand bandit. State of well, different state of being and a different edible thing. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. start pretty basic, space tuber, but then eventually it's like space tuber, underground curry. Yeah, <laughs> underground curry. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've been there. I feel like that's just a, a hip place to go to get some nice, yeah. like, Thai food. I, that I, there's a place in Toronto that is in the ground, and it is very good Thai food. <laughs> well cleaned. We're actually really close to getting uh, enough money for the, the fancy the thing. Big, big the big sprayer? The big fancy. Hey. How do I clean this chimney properly? What the heck? Oh, there. You got it. I did. There was just like an angle. I always forget that you really only need to clean like 80% of it, and then it snaps to clean the rest of it. That whole... Uh, oops. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Put that there. What happened? Take pick up the ladder. Okay, I just... Oh, it. it works. It works as intended. Boo. We, like, haven't even started I was the garage. Really, I was really hoping it would, like, glitch out or something and just leave me up there. Yeah. Cle climbing this ladder, though, is odd. Oh, it's the window frame. That's what's throwing me off. I'm trying to find a cheat up here. Oh, I can't. I can't. You know, you can, you can, like, use the ladder if you need it. No, I know. I was, I'm was, i just creating a challenge for myself on purpose. Causing problems on purpose. My whole MO. Oh, my. 63%. Yeah, it, I didn't... It didn't look like it was going to be that much tougher than... Or longer than the other one, but, yeah, it definitely... I, the main thing on this house uh, that I remember is that a lot of the spots have to... You really have to go over. You can't just, like, do a yeah. first pass clean. That's what does it. Yeah. And then you get the new power washer, and it's like, never mind. It's no longer a problem. Yeah, we're at 870... 871 bucks. We need 900. Oh. So we'll probably get it after the, like after this. Which is a shame. If we clean something particularly big. Yeah. Maybe... I mean, I'll, I'm doing the roof. If I wouldn't have purchased all of the uh, the consumables, so we would have, would have had enough. Yeah, it's always how it goes. Oh God, I just saw your shadow. I saw your shadow a shadow pop up when I was looking down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite powerful enough to actually be a danger. Which, which I think is, is for the best. Whoa. Wait. Wait. Get out. Huh. Wait, Wait, we could have used that. I don't have a shadow. Wait. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> oh my. Only the other player has a shadow. <laughs> this is a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Co-op. 
<laughs> in quotations. <laughs> uh, I, we we really need to do a viscera cleanup detail, wholesome verse live. Because like I mean, you really can mess people up on that one. Because oh! if you have a dirty mop, you just spread the infinite blood. <laughs> yeah. Like it'll take us three hours to finish one level, and even then, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well. Yeah. There's a. Oh, I should have bought copies for that for the Steam Summer Sale. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, I need to make a list of games that I want to do for that. Just get get them when they're fifty percent off or something. Yep. Huh. But is it is this uh... published by Square Enix? I wonder if I could actually send Square Enix an email. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. It was easier when Clara worked at Square Enix, because then I could ask her for anything. But now she doesn't. How dare. How dare. How dare. Yeah, I would, I, it'd really be fun to play this debate. Ooh. What's interesting? Uh, seeing various, like, uh, people that we work with that, like, viewers have no idea who they are and will never find out who they are. But, like, kind of watching their progress through the games industry. Yeah. And, like, what companies they're working at and what they're up to. And we could be totally just making up who they are. They might not even be real. Yeah, Nobody true. would know. Claire is fake. But, well. Made up. Secret. I think that would cause issues for Devolver. Yeah, it's true. She's a fabricated human. <laughs> Don't let her know. <laughs> she she just, oh god, it's even a secret from her. <laughs> it's, it's, she, she, oh god, this makes this a lot more dark. The fact that she doesn't even know. Oh no. I, I I was actually seriously kind of hoping that would be like the grand reveal in I I guess I probably shouldn't talk about this even though it's like a 20-year-old game. Somebody might never have played it. Damn. What are your policies on spoilers? Do you even care that much, or is it kind of like... Um, if anybody mentions a detail for a game that you just haven't gotten around to playing yet, it's still just kind of like, ugh. Because recently, uh, I, I want to play Halo Infinite, but I haven't played Halo 4 or 5. Mm. And I've heard, like, you're not really supposed to because they're bad, but at the same time, I, I kind of want to for that, you know, feeling of, like, proper continuity. Continuity? Yeah. There we go. Um, but one of my audience members was like, yeah, I'm just going to tell you the whole story. And I'm like, no, that's not what I wanted, even though these have been out for ages. Yeah, it for me, it's really a case-by-case -case basis. Like, I'll usually say if something is something I don't want to be spoiled on. Like, if it's a, I don't know. I feel like it depends on what the content is and, like, how, mu how integral this story is to what I care about. Like, there's a lot of games where I really could not care less about the story like there's a lot but and then, and then there's some like i i don't know i would be bummed if i got spoiled fully on inscription or something for example yeah because i feel like that's I had to a, lot a lot of, of fun. people yeah 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 i like i i played through almost all of that game in two three sittings three sittings so i wouldn't have to worry about people spoiling it for me but yeah. people were still trying to spoil it for me, so I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna not keep you around. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like I I broke my because I always record everything the day before, but I broke that rule for inscription because everybody was trying so hard to tell me about all of the secrets and everything, yep. spoil everything. So I just yeah. had the I I had the I mean it wasn't hard to do because it was a good game, but I had to binge it all in a way that messed up my schedule so that I wouldn't be spoiled. Because it's like, people are watching for genuine reactions, one would think, you know? Yep. And yet, people are yep. like, I'm gonna do that. You probably want to know how the game ends. Like, isn't it Here's cool that I, I watched somebody else play this already? Isn't it cool? This yep. is what it is. Here we go. Spoil. What was I playing? I was playing uh, Kingdom Norselands, which, like, I had already finished recording and done everything, but somebody's like, just a tip, and then like told me how to get all of the secret 
like items in it and i was just like that's not a tip that is just telling you yeah what to do. i think that that's what people need to realize there, there's like there's some hints that are in good faith and then there's some hints that yeah. people do because people get like some kind of joy in proving just that they already beat something and yeah. they just it's an ex giving you a hint is just them trying to find a way to we like kind of trying to find a way to brag like yeah almost in a well, way which is really i don't know it's a strange so thing. i had i had kind of this experience uh beginning of the year i was playing uh homeworld like the first one for the first time and there was a guy that was relentlessly backseating and i was like you gotta stop man he's like i'm just trying to make sure you have as good of a first experience as <laughs> i did the first time around did and you I, get had, spoiled. I stopped and said I don't think you realize, but you are actively making sure that does not happen. Yeah. I think for a lot of these people, uh, that is exactly what they're trying to do. I, there are always stinkers, but I think most yeah. people are trying to guarantee you have that pristine playthrough. They want you to like it so as much are... as they do at all costs, and they are conf they they're worried that you won't want to do. And it's probably true that you won't want to do like a second run or something to get the thing that maybe they think is really cool like i get that yeah but you're going about it the wrong way it's just yeah if there if there's something you thought was really cool and surprising let the person find how cool yeah. and surprising it is it's no it's no longer as cool if it's not surprising i don't know i was watching jazz from stumped play inscription and she had gotten to the moon and couldn't get past the moon. I'm being kind of vague here. Sure. Uh, I mean, I got you. She had the thing to get past it, but just wasn't using it at the right time. Uh, uh, and, like, used it on the last round way before or way after when it would have been necessary. And she's like, yeah, I've just been stuck on this for a while. And I'm like, I see why some people lose their minds over this. Because here I am just being like, no, just... Just use it earlier. You'll be fine. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, backseating... I don't know. I feel like backseating and spoilers are completely like a completely different conversation that share a lot of the same talking points. But, yeah. But, there, yeah. Backseating... One's a little bit more malicious. And one is just kind of not realizing what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, it really just comes down to who you're watching. There's some people who, who care more. I was watching somebody last night who was, I, I won't say who it is, but they, um, they, they go even further than I would on like not liking spoilers. Like they, they got somebody kind of, kind of sort of vaguely maybe spoiled a step of a puzzle. And he like started yelling at them and then, oh, gosh. and then, and banned them. And it, like, it got really like chat was just really awkward after it. And it was just like, Nobody wanted to talk anymore, and it was really I've, weird. I've quietly banned like one or two people for doing that sort of thing, but the yelling part. Yeah, you know, it's just and, and I've it's only fine. ever done that to one person. Yeah, in my in all of my years, I was playing Dicey Dungeons and somebody was like mad at me because I wasn't playing well enough, and they were yelling at me in the comments, and so I I finally lost my cool and was just like, this is unacceptable. You know, yeah. people have been yelling at me constantly for not playing right. I just I don't oh, like yeah. this game anymore. Yeah, and I haven't been back. Dicey Dungeons is incredible, and the backseaters are plentiful. It's it's a yes. shame. So many so many great strategy roguelikes have the worst people in the communities. I love Slay the Spire, but the community makes me like it a lot less. Like because I can't I can't enjoy it my way. Because it's been out too long, and pe too many people have a thousand hours in it, yeah. and they don't want anyone else. They don't want to see As, a misplay anymore. I feel like what broke it for me was the moment they added, added the covenant levels. Everybody was starting to expect that you had to be on like maximum covenant level and maximum play and super optimum strategy. Wait for monster train or the that, ascension? Nobody... Wait, the ascension and uh, slay the spire? I guess both. Uh, ascension and slay the spire, covenant and monster. Train. Okay, okay. The moment those things get added or focused on that's when that's when it starts like devolving but i think that yeah. might also just be kind of oh. uh chicken egg situation where it's like 
No, these people were always bad. They just hadn't figured it out yet, so they couldn't be bad. Yeah. Oh, I have, I have, I could go on for a long time about ascension levels, especially ascension levels in strategy, strategy roguelikes. It, it's such a, it's such a tough thing to, to, to find out how to do well, to add difficulty, increasing ramping difficulty in a strategy roguelike. Because what yep. most people think is fun about like Monster Train and Slay the Spire that I, from what I hear, I mean, obviously everybody has different fun, but um, typically it's like, I want to have cool, like do cool combinations and, uh, you know, have a fun build that, that eventually, you know, I, I win with a cool varied build. But yeah. Ascension levels kind of, they funnel you each essential level you go up meta build. yeah every essential level you go up in a typical strategy roguelike that has ascension you are losing a percentage of viable builds and that is a bummer i find that yep. like so it's almost it's weird i i like i like to be challenged but i also it's such a bummer to lose fun options that variety yeah i mean i think part of it is just realizing that not every game is going to be maximum um or going to be able to cater to maximum skill level yeah it's it's true but it's like i've, I've been thinking about it and i think the hades system is so it's so interesting the heat system because you can go up to like what 41 or 46 whatever however much heat yeah but there's only a reward in game for going to like heat 20 you know like there's only I there's think I only ever made it up to like 12 and then i was like ah, i'm done yeah but like you know those i mean i guess this is a spoiler but i don't think it's that wild of a spoiler but if you made it up to 12 you probably could have assumed like the statues that you get you know yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're you, That's barely a spoiler. Yeah, I know, but you get a statue for whatever, like twenty, and then you there's no other in-game reward past that at all. There's nothing, and no unlocks, no nothing. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> and I actually, I the more distance I've had from that, the more I really, really like that because I didn't feel compelled to go up to forty something. I've like no. I've tr I've tried it out. And it's not really that it's not really very fun. Like it really isn't. I I my first exposure to V was finding out, you know, here's this guy that does this regularly, and I'm like, why? How? The madman. Yeah, he, well, he I, has he beaten he hasn't beaten the forty something, has he? Has he? I have no idea. I, I know he was like far higher than me and people are just like, Yeah, check out how V does it. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. I'm sure this is fun for him. I I will lose my mind if I have to. What are we? We're at ninety percent. What are we missing? It's a great question. Is there? Uh, when does that checklist come up? Uh, I feel like the garage. Oh, we're at ninety five percent, I believe. We're missing this over here. The garage door or something. Sub to Remo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do it. Wait, I kind of want to see. Wait, stand stand still for a second. Back up, back up, back up. Wait. Un okay. I want to. I want to see. I want to spray around the ladder, and then take away the ladder. I want to see if it leaves. Oh, I see. I want to see what. It, oh, hey, I think it. It kind of. It kind of does something if you. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, neat. I'll go through that. Oh, I'll go through the top. Oh my god. It's so buttery. Ah! So <laughs> it's not great. It's the, the <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I think that your spraying is making it even harder. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. Huh. I don't think I'm capable of pushing you off. You're not reaching me, I don't think. Oh, wait. Maybe? Yeah, I, I most definitely am. Yeah, I, I heard it there. Oh, wow. I think it's causing you to go down the ladder slightly, but it could be wrong. 
keep doing it. But it might also be the angle. I do need to go down uh, the ladder a little bit to reach some stuff. Oh, do we have, uh, have we accrued enough money for the next level of sprayer? <gasps> oh! Because that'd probably help this a lot. Yep. I forgot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, medium duty. <laughs> Can you use it? Let's see. Uh, if I can pull up my inventory. Uh, yes, I can. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so nice. Pay to win. Everything. Pay to win. Pay to win. Pay to win. Oh, that's only 93%. What are we missing? Oh, you know what There's else we're be some... missing? Whoa, the entire garage. <laughs> and the whole <laughs> side of the absolutely... garage. Just like so much. We're missing an entire massive section. But now we got the good gun, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, got the good, good gun. Whoa. Power wash, game of the year. I. Was it? Oh, shit. It did come out this year. I've yeah. lost all sense of time. I, I need to sit down and start, like, collecting that. Yeah, I need to. Pr I need my to process my my list. It, it's gotten confusing. I I think I just I don't think I can do a like top like ten or anything like that because so many of the games have just been on average good, but very few of them have been like life changing in the way that certain other games have been. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've been thinking thinking that it'd be fun to do. I, I mean, well, I've always wanted to do a podcast thing, but I'd really, I feel like a game of the year podcast episode is just like a no-brainer, easy easy way to start yeah. something like that. And I've, I've just been thinking what my list would even be. And and the thing is, like, I, I, I it's far too late for this now, but, like, I was thinking a whole show that just, like, ran, you know, you got everybody's did a a list like a one on one basically interview with with a each member of like the wholesome verse or something and what their game of the year kind of was or what their top list is and maybe they all even went about the list differently like maybe it was they just wanted to do best indies or you know something more niche than that just just talking talking around the game of the year i think it's i think it can really have an interesting conversation like what i was saying before yeah it lets you see what people think is important. It's kind of fun. Not as much just to be like, and this is number one, beow, 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 you know, like that. I don't really care yeah. about that. I just don't think I can do that. Like, maybe the other year with, like, Outer Wilds for me, that was easier. But, like, this year, I... Arc Fail, dang good. Loop Hero, dang good. Inscription, okay, probably King, but... yeah. I forgot Loop Hero came out this year. Oh god, that makes it tough too. Yeah, yeah. That that is really like, early, late February slash like all of March. That was really aggressively good. Throws a lot of things off. Yeah. I am. Um, for me, Astronaut came out this year. That one's. I, yeah. I really like it. But that was this year. That was really early this year. Ugh. I gotta play some more of that. Yeah, I I can't. I really want to play more. Get ready for the uh, to get ready for the sequel. Yeah. Also, just because I like it, and I I haven't dabbled with the new character they added. Also, they ch completely changed the ending and how like the ascension system works. I think. Ooh, that's good. Because yeah. I didn't like what they had. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like capturing me. What are we missing? I'm getting the gutters, right now. Uh, let's see, gutters and railings, windows, window frames, and wooden trims. Oh no! Oh no! Wooden trims sounds very nightmarish to find. I don't know how I'm still on this roof. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. I think I'm just gonna walk around trying to figure out which wooden trim it is. Yeah, I'm just oh, running around hitting tab. Oh, good. They start flashing at this point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where are you? 
kind of back at the front of the house. All of the spots that I didn't finish cleaning. Back on the railing. I couldn't figure out what I was missing on that specific railing. Just like that looks like you got it. Yeah, there was just a very just a uh, bit of schmutz. Just a very small amount of something. Uh, window. Okay, here's window the wooden trim, frame. and I'm pretty sure it's the bottom side. Yep. I can't find the window. It's probably one of the upper ones. Yeah, maybe. That yeah, burp. Huh. Uh, uh, oh. No kidding about the buttery ladder. Yep. No, not this window. This window? Oh, it's this window. Oh, I bet you the window. Fr it's the. It's this window frame too. Can I get it without the top? Yep. Okay. Wooden nice. trim. What does that even, like, that could be a lot, couldn't it? A lot of things, yep. Remember you can just look at a wooden, uh, like, you can look at an object? Yeah, that's what I'm... And it'll tell you. I'm looking in the upper left, I'm just, like, hovering over everything I can. Oh, boy. Uh, no. <laughs> I just spent 10 minutes watering the house <laughs> looking for one walk. speckle of wooden trim. Oh my god, it's probably like almost none of it too. Like, Oh boy. Oh, wait, wait, I found it. Oh, back here. I don't. Yeah, it's oh the my other side. Oh wow, my god! Yeah, it, really it was, was just nothing. a small amount. To... Oh my god! Yeah, but it because was... it was such a small thing. Yeah, uh, that was a substantial portion of it. Oh, look at the wow. smiley face on the house. Oh, it's nice. Uh, <laughs> I gotta wait for the uh, the time lapse. It's gonna take a bit. Oh, it's only the front of the house. Oh, I should put the sub 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 the Remo on the front. Oh shoot! I missed my air my <laughs> air time. No one can tell. Oh no! Smile. Uh, it's fine. Hey. Yeah. An another job well done. Yeah, that actually took longer than the park. I'm surprised. Yeah, it did. It surely did. Oh my God! There's a shoe house. What? Yeah. It's skate great. park? Oh my god. This the skate park was also great. All of these are great. It's so satisfying. Uh I love this game. Game of the year. Goes to Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> I, I honestly, unironically, it, it'll probably end up on my list, but my list is like 30 games long where I'm just like, I cannot decide between any of these games, so here's all of them. Yeah, it, it would certainly end up on, like, an honorable mention-y kind of a list for me, if nothing else. It's just, like... Games that have no right being this good, but I'm yeah. so glad they are. Or excel perfectly at what they set out to do. Like, this yeah. just does it. It's you power wash, and you do it very well. It's great. I, some part of me wishes that the tools got more ridiculous as you went along. So, like, eventually you're casting, like, rain and like summoning bucket, yeah uh like broom elementals to just wash with you <laughs> sure maybe as like a wild dlc as I, like I a would, final I fantasy crossover a, dlc a <laughs> just swap you for a black mage yeah you destroy the house <laughs> grimomancer yeah oh, pretty much yeah that's my other issue just to finish the game of the year thing we've got games still coming out for like the next two weeks yeah, like that's the hardest part about Game of the Year is like, who knows? Maybe the game that comes out on December eighteenth is going to be like incredible. It's true. I don't know. But if you if you run like um, Game Award rules, then things that come out in like mid November and December from last year still count. Like fair. And I think that that's that like you kind you kind of have to do it that way because it's like Archvale just came out and like 
I I really want to put it super high, but since it just came out, I feel like I have some more thinking I need to do with it. I like I love it so much, but I just need to do more thinking. Cause yeah. comparing yeah. apples and oranges is really it. tough. Is really really tough. Yeah. I just beat it. I'm gonna play it again. I'm gonna play another run. I'm gonna play a hardcore run immediately oh, after. Oh boy. Yeah. Cause it's. I'll tell you what. It actually. I know it, as you get towards the end, if you're doing everything, it's. I don't. I don't know if it was just my build, but it actually got kind of almost got kind of easier <laughs> as time went on in a weird way. But. Like as I got really really strong because I just did I did everything like I oh I, yeah yeah I if did you get all the little defensive things get all the rings the best yeah. weapons max those out I, and I like that but anyway we'll save it for the game of the year podcast that we do uh, <laughs> later but yeah I don't know do you want to do an outro <laughs> do you yeah, know I think I did yeah. the intro yeah so it's been been uh, two uh, two boys with power washers <laughs> in some random person's yard yeah uh, podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.